Members of the Upper and Lower Houses of Parliament on Friday supported and passed the Mutual Exchange of Information on Taxation Matters Amendment Bill 2022, which focused on implementing measures recommended by the European Union during the recent peer review process. The bill seeks to improve legislation to strengthen the country's regulatory framework for the automatic exchange of information by removing deficiencies and placing more emphasis on financial institutions' obligation to fulfill due diligence. The peer review was part of examinations by the EU on anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing. Leader of Government Business in the Upper House and Finance Minister Honorable Gregory Bowen explained that there are serious consequences for the economy if the recommendations are not executed within the given period. He said at all costs, government has to avoid possible blacklisting and losing corresponding banking relations. The ramification of not doing it. We know about the blacklisting. If you're black, you know about corresponding banking. All of the, they could shut the country down. Nobody wants a name on the list because of the terrible consequences to the country, to the economy, if we let that happen. If any one of us in the region loses the corresponding banking relationship, then we're in serious trouble. So we believe that the other place would gladly support it and pass it. Yes, they may blame and say, well, you should have done it last week as usual. Fine. But I don't think anyone in their right mind will not support the passage of this bill. The European Union is mandating through the bill that upon request, local financial institutions transfer information on its citizens who are investing and doing business in Grenada. Senators Winston Garway and Norland Cox also added their voices to the discussions to amend the bill. There is this move to ensure that members or citizens from those jurisdictions who have been investing in small developing states like ours, be it in the CBI, be it in other real estate business and so forth, they are on this move now to ensure that they are able to capture from these the citizens, taxation, and to get them to contribute towards the local economy in terms of taxation. So where are we today? We are here at this point to ensure that with this piece of legislation, there will be an automatic transfer of information to those jurisdictions if they so ask. And they said it's mutual. So if we have citizens in those jurisdictions, we can make requests for those taxation information and vice versa. If the citizens are here, they can make that request, but it's automatic transfer. Currently, we have a no visa requirement for accessing those territories. So what we are seeing is if uh, there is non-compliance on our part, it is easy for uh, someone to say, look, we move a, a resolution in the European Parliament to say that visa restriction is no longer, that visa waiver, waiver is no longer allowed. And once that is done, that means there is no need for persons to seek our passport because it would not have that benefit and that value, value that it had before in terms of a visa waiver. That is basically what uh, the move of the bill was speaking in terms of how the CBI is going to be affected. Um, so not just Grenada, but also other CARICOM countries who have similar uh, investment program. But however, Mr. President, I think fortunately, fortunately for us in Grenada is that our program, the funds that are generated from our program, is not pegged. It is not pegged towards our recurrent expenditure operations in government. 
It is pegged to the transformation fund, and it is pegged to capital investments. 